show you on here. So cool, I can get both screens in here. Hello! Are these giant selfies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, as a student, she can go in and see everything about the class, the class journal, which is everything that we have accepted to our class, from her stuff to everyone else's, Julia's, Maria's, and all. Or if she goes over here and clicks on hers, then she can see just her things. Cool. And then what happens is I, when I come on mine, wherever it is, I can send a letter or have a letter made for parents. And then the parents, I can have it printed out and sent home, or I can email it to them. And like this is Araya's letter, and so when her mom goes on and the instructions of how to go on and how to get the app, then they download the app and hold it up in the QR codes here, and it connects her to my class to sign up for Araya's. So does she get to see only Araya's work or the right. whole class? No, it's just Araya's. It's work. just Araya's work because this code only goes with Araya's permission. So each kid then has their own letter that can be sent home or email, but I did letters. So each one is for each kid. Cool. Will you show me the whole class stream from the student view again? The whole, the, the, yeah, the whole stream. The class journal. The class journal. So I doubt, we did that together and so I put this one in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then they each um, added their own are they uh, screenshots? They're screenshots. So like we did an activity on, we did the CK words on notability, but then I had them screenshot it. And then from the photo, then we put it on, no, no, sorry. From the class, then they added the photo to it. Mm -hmm. um, and then what happens then, I have to give it permission to actually be in there. So then I get a list of things on here that says um, have not been um, accepted or yeah. approved, and then I go through and look at it, and I can either delete them or I can approve them, and they add them to their thing. So then, with add item, then you can go in and add whatever you want, and I can either add it to the whole class or I can add it to individual kids. If I'm just recording, say one kid reading a book, I can add it just to theirs. Cool. So they could, that would be like a video of them reading a book, or yeah. the audio part of the video. Yeah. yeah. And one thing that I really like about it is um, the help and teacher resources. They give you uh, questions and answers on a lot of different things, but then they also give you activity ideas. That's great. So, and getting started, obviously teaching you how to do it and all. Yes. Which is nice. Has it been pretty easy for the kindergartners to? figure out how to upload the photos. Yeah, yeah. But we have used Story Creator. We've used several different things where my kids have been doing that already. Mm -hmm. So this was just kind of one of those click here, click there type Perfect. thing. And as long as they can follow along, they can do it. Perfect. But if it was brand new to another class, uh -huh. you know, and they haven't been uploading photos to might things, it might be a little bit more difficult. So, um, yeah. I, wonder, I wonder if we could see what a parent view looks like. Uh, you'd have to go in and accept. I did email. Uh, I did, okay, and then another thing though is I did get um, a, a letter because I sent my home my letters yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I actually got a thing that told me that Declan's mom uh, went in and got on. Oh, so cool. it's kind of a security thing. So you know who's on, right? Which parents are I mean, on? Which is, yeah. So and then so I did email her just to give me feedback, let me know what it looks like as a parent and stuff. Oh, awesome. I like that. Yeah.